This is the absolutely stunning Flamingo Egg Bath Bomb from Lush Cosmetics. It is a part of their Easter range and I can't wait to demo it for you today. So sit back, relax and let's see what this bath bomb's like in the bath. Hello guys, I am so excited to demo this Flamingo Egg Bath Bomb for you today. It is absolutely stunning and I absolutely adore the colours of the pink and the blue. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button as I post lots of bath bomb demo videos. My favourite thing about this bath bomb, I have to say, is the design. It is absolutely stunning. I really love the way it's got the beautiful cracks on it and also the sea salt on the top that has different colours. Anyway, I'm going to put it in the bath and then we'll have a little chat about it. I absolutely love how when this bath bomb goes in the bath you get this beautiful foamy colours of pink and blue and then that really nice um, kind of pastel colours and it almost reminds me a little bit of the rose butterfly bath bomb. I'll try and link that up above if you haven't seen it but the colours kind of a similar, it's got that similar vibe. They did come around out around the same time so it makes sense that they're kind of similar. Um, this bath bomb is vegan, it's limited edition because it is part of the Easter range and it retails for £4.95 so it's kind of mid-range in terms of cost from Lush Cosmetics and I just absolutely adore the way that the colours mix, it has some beautiful bath art, it's also really nice and foamy and it looks so pretty in the bath. to say this bath bomb didn't really have that much scent well I didn't feel like I really noticed much of a scent I'm trying to remember what it smelt like and I can't, I can't really remember it didn't really stick with me the scent it was very mild um, and I've also had a little look on the Lush Cosmetics website and no one has really mentioned the scent of this bath bomb somebody says it smells a bit buttery um, but I honestly I don't remember what it smells like I think it was quite underwhelming the scent but that could be just me because sometimes I do have a funny sense of smell so if you have tried this bath bomb let me know down below what the scent reminds you of um, but the thing that has really sold me on this bath bomb is just how beautiful the bath art is. I really love the different colours and patterns that this bath bomb creates. It is super, super cute. I originally, when I first saw the design, thought it was a little bit like a little cute dinosaur egg bath bomb. But it is a flamingo egg, which makes sense of the colours that they've picked. And it is so cute. Look at these beautiful patterns it is creating in the bath.
So the key ingredients of this bath bomb are the sea salt, which you see on the top. They kind of look like cute little gemstones and they have different colours. Um, so we have the sea salt, which is cleansing. It's supposed to help soften your skin. And um, we also have the Veravert oil, which is smoky. It gives that kind of smoky, earthy scent, which I don't really remember smelling, but it is supposed to give kind of that kind of scent. Um, and also it has Sicilian lemon oil, which is supposed to be uplifting and cleansing and I did feel like this bath bomb was very moisturizing on my skin and relaxing and as you can see it created some lovely bath art in the bath. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and let me know what you thought of this bath bomb. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts and comments. Don't forget to slay that subscribe button as I appreciate all of your support. It means the world to me and I will catch you next time. I hope that you all have a wonderful, magical, amazing day wherever you are in the world. I'll catch you very soon.